How's it going guys? In this video I want to show you a cool trick to make your boring direct in acoustic sound a little bit more exciting. This is a trick I picked up from uh, Russia Fools whenever I was running monitors for them on a run one time. Uh, specifically Wes uh, was one that liked to do this for his in-ears and so I tried it at front of house a few times and really kind of liked it. It doesn't work in all situations but it can at different times and I think it can be pretty cool. So first let's check out this mono acoustic guitar. This is just a direct in acoustic with an LR Bags anthem in it. Doesn't sound bad, it doesn't sound great, just kind of sounds a little bit boring. So let's see how we can make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so again, you know, just not a whole lot going on. It's just a, just kind of there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it wide. And the way we're going to do that, you can do this by using different effects and all, but this kind of is a way of doing it to save your effects if you have an extra channel to work with. It's just another way of doing things. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our channel. We're going to be on channel 11 here. And then we're going to make uh, channel 11 feed channel 12. Now on the X32, the way you do that, is we're going to select channel 12 and then you're going to go from from your home screen over to config and then where you have source you're going to source channel 12 from channel 11 so we do that and now we can see channel 12 is coming from channel 11 now if we just turn this up as it is let's see It's just a louder signal. Didn't really change anything, it just doubled the signal, that's all. So, what we're going to do is on channel 12, we're going to delay uh, directly next to the source. We're going to hit delay, and we're going to delay it 14 milliseconds. You can experiment with this, just 14 is a good starting point. So you're going to crank this up until you get to 14, and then hit delay, turn it on. And then we're going to pan these hard left and right. So channel 11 is going all the way left. Channel 12 is going all the way right. And now let's take a listen. So if you're listening on headphones, you can really tell that suddenly it takes the uh, guitar from here and just brings it out to here. It's pretty simple. It just You're delaying it enough that your ears are perceiving, even though it's the same signal, you're perceiving it with width, you know? And one quick note, a lot of times whenever we're hearing something first, we will perceive it as louder. So what can happen with this is you'll think that channel 11, your left ear, is louder than your right. So it may be worth turning up uh, your input gain on channel 12 because it would be the same for the in-ears on stage, in the house, and all that. So I would think to balance that out, you can turn up channel 12, your right side, a little bit more uh, just to you know compensate for that a little bit and so it brings the stereo image a little bit more even rather than kind of all tilted off to the left so yeah again I hope that you've enjoyed this let's just take a quick uh, a B if we can And then in the whole mix. All right, yeah, guys, thanks for uh, hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you like, if you haven't already, hit the link in the description for my free reverb cheat sheet, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.